this is Adobe Media Encoder and this program is used to convert video and audio files to pretty much any other format you want. Uh, it will be very useful for you when you're doing web design or when you're doing movie editing uh, because you'll be able to change things into formats that are better for the programs that you're using. Okay, so to start with, uh, if you can't find this, just go to Start Menu and type in Adobe Media Encoder. It looks like this has this kind of grey purplish logo. It'll open up like this. Um, generally, I find the easiest way to add files is to have a little browser open already and then just highlight the files you want. I'm just going to start with this one and drag it in and let go. Um, the other way you can do it is just to click on the plus here and then find the one you want. Um, or you can go file and um, add source. But I find just drag and dropping the best way. Right, when you drag a file in, you'll notice these three hyperlinks. The first one is where you choose the format. Okay, now you would have learned a little bit about formats previously. If you click on the drop down arrow, um, you can see all the ones you can pick from. I recommend H.264 for most applications. Uh, generally speaking, if you want to make a video that you want to show someone later on your computer or if you want to uh, copy it to um, I don't know, USB or upload it to YouTube, this one is really good quality. Um, so definitely pick H.264 if you want to um, you know, save it as a, a good quality video but not too much space. An AVI will come out very nice but like it says, uncompressed um, in this one as well. They'll, they'll be a very high uh, bit rate and the file size will just come out in, in the gigabytes and it'll just take too long. FLV is really good for um, web-based things, so like Dreamweaver, if you want to make a video that will stream in your web, in your, on your website, FLV is the way to go. Okay, um, QuickTime is also pretty good. Um, and Windows Media, if you want it to be really compatible with Windows stuff, uh, so you want to put a video into a PowerPoint, Windows Media works really well for that. Okay, um, the rest of these, you don't really have to worry too much about them. Um, although if you want to make a video into an animated GIF, uh, you can pick that one as well. Go ahead and just pick a format. I'm going with H.264. Once you've picked your format, if you click on this one or this one, either one doesn't really matter, the hyperlink, it will pop up with this window. And this window is where you change all of your settings. Okay, to start with, we can see the source range down here. So this is the entire clip. And if you click on this little scrubber, it slides through and it shows you the whole video. If I would like to just only export this last little section here. Um, I just drag this little triangle and you can see the gray part is the bit that won't be included and the yellow part is the bit that is included. It's pretty simple. Okay, but I want to include the entire section. So I'm just going to change that back to entire clip. Okay, um, if I wanted to change my scaling, um, I could go to my source and I can modify the area that I want. So I could like crop it and I only want like this section here. And then I go back to my output and you can see that's the bit that I've got. Okay, you can have a play with that um, until it like all fits perfectly with your output. You can manually adjust it like so. So if you know the exact size of what you want, you can crop it that way. But once again, we just want to do the whole thing. So I'm just going to scale to fill so it all fits. All good. All right. Now you'll see on the right hand side here we have video options. This is obviously your resolution, so at the moment it's uh, 1280 by 720, which is 720p. We're happy with that, although you can manually change it. I would not recommend making it larger, only making it smaller, because if you make it bigger, then you'll stretch it and it won't look as good. Leave the frame rate where it is, that's fine. Don't worry about these things here. Um, the only real thing you want to touch is the bitrate settings. Okay, This is where you determine the quality. The higher the bitrate, the better the quality. Okay, um, Two pass means it's going to encode twice. So hopefully it'll look pretty good. Um, generally, if you want it uh, to be good quality, you've got to put it on 10 or above. Uh, but at the same time, you don't want it to be too big that you'll, you know, you'll take up too much space. 10 is pretty good though. Um, you can leave it on 10. If you're up, if you're turning, you want it to be really, really good quality, you could probably pump it up to 20 um, or as high as it can get. In this case, 17.5, um, and that that'll come out nice. Obviously, uh, for what we're doing, we don't really need it that big, so I'm going to go back to 10. Okay, ticking this uh, render at maximum quality option here and here. Um, this will make it take a bit longer when we render it, but the quality will come out a bit nicer. Okay, um, next, once that's chosen, you go to audio. Um, just make sure that your bitrate settings are up above 100. If it's like down here on 64, the quality won't be so great. 
Um, this doesn't take up much space anyway, so I might even just put on 192. Um, the, that way it comes up nicely, uh, the audio. Multiplexer, this should be set on MP4. Um, if it isn't, make sure it is. Uh, MP4 is a really common format. Don't worry about FTP. So once those three settings are done, uh, make sure you have the, these two options ticked. Of course, obviously if they're not ticked, it won't come out. Um, output name, this is where you choose where you want to save to. So at the moment it's pointing to my desktop um, and then you name whatever you want to name it. And you hit save, you press OK, and you can see it queued and ready to go. This little play button will make it start. If, for example, you want to change something, you just click on your hyperlinks to change it again. If you want to change the file name, you can click here and that'll change that. Um, when you're happy, you press the play button. Get out of my way! You hear the magic little ding noise, that means it's done and then it'll be ready to go on your desktop. Now you can um, put multiple files in at once and I'll show you, I'll just drag all these in here. And I'll just click on this top one and press delete because we've already used it. Okay, um, if I was to highlight them all, that's all of them selected and then start modifying format. You'll notice all of them change. And if I click on this option here, it'll tell me you want to do it to all of them and I'll say, yes, I do. And then whatever changes you make um, will affect all of them. So you could do this with, you know, 20 clips if you wanted to. So it's a good way to modify all of your clips if you need to. And that'll work. And then when you press play, it'll go through all of them and one after another, encoding them all into whatever format you like. Uh, what I want you to do is drop and drag the Athletics Day video in and I'm going to show you how to edit a video so that it is useful for uh, uploading onto a Dreamweaver website. So we're going to click on the drop down arrow and we're going to pick FLV uh, because FLV has worked best with uh, Dreamweaver. And then we're going to click on the hyperlink and it's going to come up with um, the settings. And we're going to go through here and we're going to just keep this first little section for 20 seconds because we don't want to have the whole thing. Okay, so we're going to drag this little triangle all the way across to here so that we just export the first 25 seconds or so. And just stop here. That'll do, right there. Okay, so we just have this first section. That's what we want. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to check our video settings. So we're just going to scroll down a little bit. Uh, the frame rate's the same. Bit rate's on 10, that's good. Quality's all good. You'll notice the settings look a little bit different from uh, the H.265 one, but uh, that's okay. Check the render at maximum quality one. So it comes up nicely. And we might just drop We just drop the bitrate level a little bit to medium, um, maybe even low. Uh, that way our video won't be too big for our website. Right, um, format's good, FLV, audio is fine how it is. Uh, now we press OK. Again, now that it's in the FLV format, it'll be much easier to upload onto our uh, website. So once again, hit play and that'll export it into it as an FLV. Alright, your mission, which you must accept, is to open up the Athletics Day video, change it from whatever format it is to H.264, modify it, and I want you to shrink it down to only go for about one minute. That'll do, about there. I want you to choose the correct settings that I've shown you already, and I want you to export it. Okay, when you export, it's a good idea to save to your desktop first. That'll help the encoding times not take as long. And then once it's there, I want you to save it to your U drive. And that is your proof that you know how to use this program. Okay, thanks for watching this tutorial.